Hi guys, Noah here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a 64-bit program in Visual Basic. Uh, I uh, know I said I was going to do it, and I do it. I'm doing it, but uh, I just want to give a shout out to uh, Jazzmaster700. Uh, he was going to help me out with this tutorial on YouTube, but uh, I guess I beat him to it. But uh, just get to his channel and subscribe, and watch some of his videos if you will. And uh, let's get on with the tutorial. Uh, just uh, open up Visual Studio or Visual Basic, whichever one you have, and just wait for them to load. Uh, go to New Project, and if you have Visual Studio, make sure that is highlighted Visual Basic. And uh, basically, if you have Visual Basic, just click on Windows Forms Application and click OK. This should work with Visual Basic 2008 or 2010 or Visual Studio 2008 or 2010. So I'm just going to keep this as Windows Application 1 and then click OK. Okay, I'm not going to really put anything into the form because I just want to make this tutorial really fast. So I'm just going to go ahead and just show you how to make this into a 64-bit application. So uh, go to Debug, I mean uh, Build, and then go to Configuration Manager. Okay, and go to New. And uh, I've already entered it, so mine says uh, Time 64, but this should say New, and you click on New. And then another box should pop up somewhere saying uh, type in something and then type in times x64 in the box. But I'm just going to go ahead and enter that and then change this to empty and then click OK. And everything should change to 64 bit. And then click close and it should apply that to the application. Okay, now you want to save the application. I'm just going to save this to my desktop to make this tutorial a little faster. Then you want to run the application to make sure there is a uh, file in there that is an AXI file. You want to exit out of here. And you want to go to Windows Application 1 folder. You want to click on Windows Application 1 folder. And then instead of, you want to go to bin and instead of going to uh, debug, you want to go to time 64. And, uh, then debug and then make sure the files are there but you want to drag this debug folder to the desktop and then uh, you want to uh, go to install creator I'm going to show you how to make an installer and install creator to install it into the 64-bit file if you have a 32-bit and a 64-bit operating system alright click on next then go to browse and browse for the debug folder and then click OK then you want to name the product. I'm just going to name this test. Then click next. And then uh, click next, 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 next. And if you have a license agreement key or something like that, uh, just go ahead and uh, enter that. And then click next. And this is where you need to change the this. Take the number signs off and then put C. C colon and a slash and then it should direct your 64-bit program files. If it's a 32-bit operating system, then it's going to direct your 32-bit files. If it's a 64-bit and a 32-bit operating system, then it's going to direct your 64-bit operating system files. So uh, just click Next. Then uh, you want to add the shortcut icon that will be on the desktop. If you were in Visual Basic and you have finished the program, there will be an icon here if you added one. Then click Open. You want to name the icon and then click add shortcut to des add desktop shortcut and click next 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 and then finish and add this to your desktop that says setup just name it setup or whatever you want it to and it'll start building the setup application all right you want to close out of install creator you want to delete the windows application one folder and the debug folder Okay, you want to click on setup, and just I'm just going to show you that this runs on a 64-bit uh, operating system. I'm just going to click uh, start, and it's going to install the application. And then whenever I click on it, it should run. Okay, I'm, now I'm just going to switch this over to my other laptop. It's a 32-bit operating system computer, and it should not run on it because it's a 64-bit application. I'm just going to go ahead and switch over to that one. Hi guys, Noah here. Um, this is my 32-bit computer. Uh, my voice may not be with the clicking, so uh, this computer's got a bad processor. It's an Atom, 
so my voice might not be with the uh, mouse or anything, so uh, just follow the video and it should work, uh, it should work out. But keep in mind that this is a 32-bit operating system, it is a netbook with an Atom processor. And uh, I actually tried to run the program, and we didn't even need that message box. Something astonishing happened to me. Um, I thought it was very astonishing because I'm a computer nerd, you know all that. And I just thought it was really cool. Because it was actually a 64-bit program. I thought it wasn't going to work, but it actually did. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click up on the setup axis. I'm going to click next, next, and it's going to start installing. You're going to click exit, and the test program is right here on the desktop, because remember we set it to uh, add the shortcut to the desktop. And uh, click uh, on this, and since it's a 64-bit application, the pro Windows XP or whatever Windows or uh, platform operating system you have actually recognize this as a 64-bit application. Now it says C program files test test.excludable is not a valid win Windows 32 application. Just click OK and it's not going to run the application because this is a 64-bit application on a 32-bit operating system. Now I'm going to go back to the setup axis and notice that this says C program files test test. It's going to put that in your program files, your 32-bit program files if you have a 32-bit operating system. Um, so uh, that's one of the reasons why this won't work and something else that was astonishing to me is that this was a 32-bit installer running a 64-bit installer program so this is a 32-bit installer um, installing a 64-bit in application but notice that this is C program files and if this was a 64-bit and a 32-bit application this would go to the 64-bit program files folder but since this is a 32-bit then this is going to 32-bit program files folder because that is the only program files folder on the operating system uh, I hope you guys like this video and um, I'll have more tutorials up soon um, and uh, remember I'd like to give a shout out to Jazzmaster700 he wanted to help me do a tutorial on this video. I'm just going to go ahead and send him the code after I get through editing up this video and putting it on YouTube. But uh, thanks for watching and please rate, comment, and subscribe.